Hello, welcome to Credit Matters TV. I'm Ivan Tan. We have just released a report on Asia-Pacific Top 40 Banks, and Ritesh Maheshwari is here to discuss the subject. Ritesh, welcome. Can you tell us what is the highlights of this report? Thank you, Ivan. The report we've just released uh, essentially analyzes the profitability of the Asia-Pacific's top banks. And what we find out there is that the, while the profitability has been quite good in 2012, mm -hmm. as we've seen from the published results, we are expecting a subdued performance for the 2013 year. Mm -hmm. And this is essentially going to be because of uh, relatively looser monetary policies being used by the local uh, regulators who are following up on the similar actions and similar environment in the Western countries, as well as the fact that low inflation allows them to do it. Mm -hmm. Now that, if you look at it with the comparative pressures that the bank here face, will lead to lower margins and hence pressure on their profitability. However, let's note that, that the banks here have been enjoying higher and strong loan growth, mm -hmm. as well as moderate credit costs, mm -hmm. uh, which continues to be still true. Mm -hmm. And hence, there is uh, the profitability will not suffer too much. Mm -hmm. And the, the performance of the banks in Asia Pacific will still be stronger mm -hmm. than their counterparts in Europe and America. You mentioned that the credit costs will continue to be moderate going forward. Aren't you worried about rising leverage and hence the implication for credit risk for the region's banks? No, uh, good question. Yes, while I, while I say that it's a moderate credit cost, but the risks are uh, definitely rising. Uh, we are noticing that in some of the countries like uh, China, Hong Kong, uh, Korea and Malaysia, mm. we're seeing some rising uh, leverage both in the corporate and the household front. Mm. In some of the systems, uh, rising property prices or even a uh, high level of property prices are uh, causing a bit of a risk mm. of bubble yeah. in those countries. And I would like to highlight uh, again China, Hong Kong, Singapore, Australia, New Zealand, Korea yeah. in those uh, systems. And in some others, uh, the high credit growth itself mm. uh, could be a risk because it's just increasing the leverage in the system. Mm. And these are Thailand, uh, Vietnam, and Philippines. So, so the credit mm -hmm. risks are generally rising. Mm -hmm. It's just that the strong economic performance of the region mm -hmm. still keeps it at a contained level. Okay. What is the uh, historical profitability trend of Asia Pacific banks? Well, uh, when we notice it and we analyze it, mm -hmm. uh, we see that the, for the last four years, the profitability has been rising. Mm -hmm. And we use a measure called return on assets for that. Mm -hmm even though return on assets is not a perfect indicator of the health of a bank, mm -hmm. it's a reasonable enough indicator of a risk-adjusted profitability of a bank. Uh, so we notice that uh, Hong Kong has had the best of the profitability among the 10 top 10 systems in the Asia Pacific, okay. and also the least volatile profitability over the last four or five years. Mm -hmm. But Japan has had the least as mm -hmm. well as the most volatile. Now, mm. that's an interesting bit, and then other systems lie mm. somewhere in between. Okay. We have uh, also noticed that the profitability, because mm. it comes in mostly from interest margins, mm -hmm. uh, is also susceptible to competitive pressures, uh, any, sub, any change in the loan growth, mm. uh, could be stage of the national economy, mm -hmm. or the shape of the yield curve as well. Mm -hmm. Depending on our observations, we mm. have divided the countries into three groups. The first group has mm. China, Hong Kong, mm. India, and Malaysia in it. Mm -hmm. The second group has Australia, New Zealand, and Singapore in it. Mm -hmm. And the third group comprises essentially of Japan, Korea, and Taiwan. Mm -hmm. Now, if you want to know more about that, please read our article. Thank you very much, Ritesh, for your insights. And thank you for watching Credit Matters TV. Please read this article on our website, standardandpoors.com. Thank you, and we hope to see you soon.